Uh, the first thing we're going to do is a super basic body weight squat routine. Okay, uh, this is going to give us really good practice to become elite in our movement pattern. Set up your base for the sake of this video. We're going to talk about two distinct bases. One is a more athletic position where your hips are closer to, or excuse me, your, your feet are closer to the hip width and your toes are pointing forward. You're playing most of your sports right there. The second is more of a power uh, position. If you get a little wider than hip width, with a slight external rotation of the toes. This is the way we usually put big heavy uh, back squats on ourselves. Uh, we're going to use both variations in our body weight routine. So Rob, why don't you show us very quickly the initial toes forward position. And we talked you through some basic reminders. Posture always. Okay, we won't do anything without great posture. Scaps reduced, close the distance of the spine. Jaw over clavicle. Nice proud posture. And what we're going to do is we're going to sink back, hips back, hips through. Go ahead, Rob. Hips back, hips through. And I actually wouldn't mind, go ahead and do some reps. I wouldn't mind getting our hands involved just to really uh, illustrate the concept that this is mapping on to uh, jumping, if nothing else. Hips back, hips through. It's a tackle. Hips back, hips through. It's off the board as a swimmer. A couple more. Swipe. Correct. Hips back, hips through. Now Rob is a little naturally forward up on his toes. Try to keep the weight evenly distributed throughout the base of the foot. One more time. Back, hips through. Good. Uh, now we'll go a little wider. Do more of a power stance. Power lifter stance. Slight external rotation. You'll get less hip impingement this way, and hopefully be, it'll be easier to get range of motion through the hips. Same idea, back and through. Okay? Back, hips through. Okay, fine. Basic squat. Now, there's a couple variations that we want to talk about. The first is goblet squat. Uh, we're going to use as little equipment as humanly possible. So, uh, Rob brought his backpack home from school. He's going to use that as the goblet in place of a dumbbell. So, lock your posture together. Then keep the bar away from uh, the, the backpack away from your chest to challenge your core stability. And it's the same exact movement pattern. Back and through, back and through. Fine. The last version of this we're going to do is go ahead and grab the handle, press up overhead, one arm overhead squat. Go ahead, hips back, hips through. Notice he's got his side arm uh, sort of stabilizing. Wherever that is, is where it is. We're not going to get too picky here, but know that this is a full body movement. This will have to sort of incorporate the counterbalance. I like it. I will add one thing. If you have access to a band, we can put a band overhead squat into this routine as well. Okay, so we'll go, yep, back against the wrist, keep it over. Constant tension just by reducing your scaps, hips back, hips through. Notice that he, as he goes down, as though this were a barbell, it's staying above his base. Go ahead, hips back, hips through. That's it.